if you are unable to reach that level of being a good, kind, loving, caring husband, the least you can do is to stop your abuse. Stop hurting her. So don't be too kind, but don't hurt her. How? The Prophet ﷺ was asked, O Prophet of Allah, what are my wife's rights over us? What are our wives' rights over us? What are their rights? The Prophet said, ﷺ, and listen. He said that you should feed her when you feed yourself. You don't go for a rabbi steak, well done, like uh, three, four pounds, and you give her uh, chips. No, you, you eat, she eats with you. And this is what men do usually. They would feed their wife. In, in Arabia, we have a different uh, tactics. Not because we ask for it. Our wives do it willingly and deliberately. When we are eating, the men eat first, and they, the wives take the leftovers. This is our customs. We as men, we tend to put plates of uh, 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 food, clean food. What is this? Oh, this is from my wife. And this shows how you care for your wife. Before you eat, you make her eat. But this is one in a million. Because, and, and women do it because they love their men. They respect their men. They want to honor their men in front of the guests. So you, if you feed, you feed your wife from what you eat. And then he said, clothe her when you clothe yourselves. So you don't go and buy fancy clothes and you let her uh, um, strand it without buying it except once every year. Maybe one or two uh, dresses and, and that's it. Then the Prophet says, Alayhi salam, and you should not hit her on the face. Because this is totally haram. Hitting women and men on the face is haram. And you should not curse her by saying, May Allah make your face ugly. And this is not funny because lots of the men criticize how women look, and this is worse than a stab in the heart. Never criticize how your wife looks. Ever. Always compliment her, always say good things about her always make her feel good. Lots of the men, well, you don't see yourself. You've become, subhanAllah, short and fat. You're like an economy pack. Well, what is this? This is not what I got married to. Look at you. you why don't you hit the gym? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? But try to eat a little bit less. Why don't you do something with your hair? Oh, I want you to dye your hair blonde. This kills women. If you go and say, I want you to dye your hair blonde, this kills her. What does it mean? Do you want something else? Rather, never say anything like that. And before you criticize your wife, take a good look in the mirror. <laughs> Some of the men can't even see their toes while standing. <laughs> Some of the men don't even smell their mouth when they say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. They're, they don't, they, they, they're astonished. Yeah, every time I pray in the congregation, the man next to me goes like this. Why? Because you smell. When was the last time you took a shower? This is a problem, Akhi. They think that, oh, this is okay. No, it's not okay. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, used to take good care of his hygiene and how he looks. And when his students said, come on, this is too much. You're always, you know, taking care of the way you look and you're, you're being so neat and ha What is this? He said, well, as I like my wife to look good for me, I like to look good for my wife. This is how we roll. This is how Muslims should behave. And the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, and you should not forsake her except in the house. That means in the bed. Not leave the house and go to your mom for a couple of weeks, not attending her and your children like so, so many people do 